<clears throat> Hello, I'd like to welcome and welcome all back to LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga! Or, as I'm going to title it on YouTube, LEGO Star Wars The uh, C uh, S. Uh. There will be E's everywhere! Anyway, we're going to Episode 1, Chapter 2, The Invasion of Naboo. Remember Naboo? That was incredibly important to the original trilogy. Yeah, those things were like so intertwined. Well, truth be told, like, the planets in Star Wars aren't exactly given much of a break. Like, I think most of them are like, this is a planet, which is actually a climate. There's only this one thing on every planet, and that's it. There's nothing else. It's all desert, all swampiness, all rain, storm, ocean. I know it's simple, and it makes it easier to differentiate planets, but... It's the same thing that Star Trek suffers from. Every planet is just an environment. It's not a planet. Look at Earth. None of those planets are like, this isn't an Earthian planet. It looks like someone just took uh, the Black Forest in Germany and, and copy-pasted it all over a sphere. Okay, so this section is where we meet up with a character that, by many people, is despised. Ooh, it's a walkie-talkie. We're going to meet up with the JJB soon enough. Oh look, there's a Jar Jarian guy. Whatever the hell they're called. I don't even know what they're called. Can't do that. Need a blaster guy. I'm gonna go for... I think I'm gonna go for True Jedi. Yeah, the thing about this game that I like a lot more than I like what they did in LEGO uh, Batman... You can die. Really easy. It's it's possible to lose a life in this and have and lose studs actually. You don't actually die, you just lose some studs, but it's a lot more likely and it makes the gameplay feel more intense. It makes the combat feel more intense. I know that's not the point of a Lego game, but it's the thought that counts, I guess. Man, there are holy grills all over this place. I guess it must be the holy grail of movie design. And on top of that, there's a lot more shooty enemies. Enemies don't try to get up in your grill. Look at that, I have to pick up hearts. Enemies don't die. No, actually they do. But they have a chance! They can fight! And they're doing a good job at it! They're not fucking goons that exist to make Lego Batman look like more of a Batman. <laughs> look at this! I'm using my Jedi powers to overcome an obstacle. I'm gonna get... Ah, it's a blue one! Look at that, they also didn't inflate the value. If I remember some of the LEGO Star Wars games, uh, LEGO games go completely crazy with how common studs are. The inflation just goes insane in some of the games, and it's just, it just it's not fun. When one silver stud feels like something, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna collect them all! Uh-oh. This is a shrubbery we never totally had to walk through. Why didn't he just shoot Jar Jar? They could have saved us a lot of trouble with that. As for what I think about Jar Jar Binks, it's complicated. I 
think they do this a lot, actually, where there's just enemies appearing out of nowhere. Which is good. To a degree. Money, 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 money. Oh, yeah, real characters you can just mind trick and they go, whoa. Okay, so Jar Jar. He has the power of high jump, which lets him jump ridiculously high. Look at that. He can't fight, which is weird. In this game, most characters, some characters just can't fight. I think in the other LEGO games, like, every character has some melee attack or something to kill an enemy. Here, nope. It is entirely possible that you have a character that can't even pick up a stick and do something with that. Which is good! Oh, look, it's a nice mural. I like murals. Whoops! There go my studs. Whew, look at that lag. Oh yeah, the bounty hunter thing. We don't have any bounty hunters yet though, so we can't really do anything with it now. Man, have I missed this game. Oh, can't do anything, can't do anything! Quick! Switch! Ah, look at that. Look at how powerful the Jedi feel, simply because they can do that. And they don't... And you can abuse it, yes, but enemies aren't necessarily all going to get killed by it. It isn't a super powerful move that will just eliminate every enemy because they're all cluttered up together. See, look at that. It feels cool! And the, and the most important thing about a game like this is they can feel cool doing it. It feels nice. I feel so nice. Look at that. You get that mini kit simply playing the level. It's it, not something I'd like. But it does mean I have a lot less work to do later. Oops, forgot you can. Hey, look at that. You're probably going to get stuck. You're going to be a little idiot like me. Like, I can do this, mommy. I can be a Jedi too! Oh man, there's this is random lag. It's probably just poorly optimized. And the best part is, I'm not constantly trying to grab onto ledges because the game wants me to go up. God, I hate those ledges. We're just having a nice horizontal scroll. Having a horizontal straw all oh, down the field in water filled with leaves and leaves filled with water. <laughs> Look at all this fun I'm having. Man, loving it. Memories, nostalgia. Do, do, do. We need some Mr. JJ for this one. Come on and jump. I think his double jump height is about what a, if a Jedi could like jump again in his regular jump. In his regular double jump. Oh, you may have noticed, actually, that his Force uh, thing... I think the Force symbols are always aligned with the lightsaber color. But it only matters if you have a red one, a.k.a. A Sith. Because oh, the Sith have Dark Force powers, which lets them manipulate black Lego things. I think for the most part, black Force uses and manipulates that. I think we're at the end of the level, so I'm not getting, I'm not getting true Jedi. But at least I have a lot of studs now. Always look on the bright side of life. Do, 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 do. Now don't be a city slicker. Your skull just needs to be thicker. If 
My character studs much easier. Wait, there's a blue. There's a blue. I can make this. I can make this. No! Oh, so sad. Oh, this time they don't pull out those weird things. I like how they did his head. <laughs> yeah, there's no talking in this at all. I've seen that thing. I think I owned it actually. That that thing. It's a Lego. It's a real Lego thing. It looks pretty cool at it. Look at some gold bricks. Got Mr. JJ. True Jedi status. Nope. Mini kit. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's that ship. That's nice. Yeah, you can skip through this a lot faster. But I don't care. Look, we have so we have a lot less gold bricks to collect. That's the fun part. Oh, fun. We've got JJ. Well, I hope he's having fun. But yeah, last episode I pointed out... Look at that. The pieces that are missing form a little smiley face. Smiley face, smiley face. I like to walk around with a bland face. We got 2.5%. That's good. I don't know exactly when these gold bricks unlock, but they unlock periodically and you can buy them. Don't have any extras. You know, I don't even have anything interesting to buy yet. You know, that's the only power bricks. I don't have any of those. Boss Nas. Who the fuck would want to be boss? Look at all these characters you can buy. This is why I suggest you save up as many studs as you can because it is just insane. Where the where's? Oh, great, it didn't save Indiana Jones, so I'm gonna have to look at that cutscene again. <sighs> Let's go over some hints. Let's just look at some hints. Special Jedi attack, press X to attack, it a jump. <laughs> yeah, they can. Just see. Oh, that's sort of true. The game also selects several characters at random. That isn't true. It's just bonus levels. And you don't even need that many. If I didn't die, I probably would have gotten it, actually. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that! We got three point. Oh man, I got a lot of percentages right there. Let's buy some more. Let's buy droid. Ah, I can't buy droid. That guy has a special ability, if I remember. Like he's a little blubbery blub 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 blub, which I think with a special upgrade gets a uh, the ability to damage things. It's a PK PK droid. Oh yeah, attack one person and everyone just goes nuts. Let's see what the next level's about, shall we? Also, I think the dual just dead eye challenge is just collect studs or something. Escape. I like how we're invading Naboo and then we're just leaving it. Okay, we have invaded Naboo, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, this is a command I was talking about. Look. If I'm correct, that power disables droids if you get the upgrade. Also, I think Gonk Droid is just immortal, if I remember correctly. But I'll see you guys next time in the next exciting episode. I'm gonna quit because my back's kinda hurting from this sitting position. Die, Gonk Droid! What's this? Oh yeah, everything has a secret level! I don't know what it does, but we'll see that in a later episode. Probably episode 7 or something? I don't even know. Am I gonna do that in the exact same level? I don't even know. I think that's for Ben Kenobi to decide. Look at that. He can stand on the glass. What a champ. What a champ. Truly, the pinnacle of Jedi knowledge.